How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and welcome to box number 2 out of 20 of Japanese Awakening of the Psychic King. If you have not seen box 1 of my booster case opening, make sure to check the card up at the top right hand corner and go check that video out and then come back and watch this one. I hope that it's somewhat as good as box 1. I really do. But box 2 is fitting to have a lot of new stuff for us. And hopefully, it's going to have something great inside. Last chance to avoid the spoilers, guys. So from this point on, I'm going to assume that you've seen box 1. And you saw the little Altaria Fest that we had. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, if we're going to do that again, I would be totally fine with it being for Alakazam. But you can't expect a full art out of every box because they don't make booster boxes like that anymore. The closest they got was Bandit Ring and that was just absurdly high full ratios. I of course would like for every box to have an EX full art or, uh, or an ultra rare inside. That would be fantastic, but you can't expect every box to be incredible. would like to see it be like 2 out of 3 though. Especially with all the full arts that are available here. We're going to dive right in, and yes, this opening will be faster. Bronzong, Riolu, uh, Babarical, uh, Burmy. <laughs> it's something about that first pack magic. It is something about that first pack magic. Mega. Alakazam EX with the Zen Force as well. Man, that is awesome. Maybe I am going to have the Alakazam box. Uh, Zen Force does 10 damage, plus an extra 30 for every damage counter on the defending Pokemon. Uh, with the ability for Alakazam EX, that provides you a lot of opportunities to actually put this to your advantage. And of course, it is the flagship Pokemon of the set, and that is fantastic as well. Make sure you guys hit the like button down below to show your support for this series. I really hope to continue to bring 20 box booster cases to you forever, really. I would love to do it forever, but definitely for the foreseeable future. With you guys crushing the support and getting these videos seen by other people, it really makes a difference for me. Mega Catcher, Wormadam, Wismer, Jigglypuff, and Omastar. would like to keep this video under 13 minutes if I can help it. So we have Fossil Excavation Kit, Vullaby, uh, Wormadam, Old Amber, and Mothop. It will be a little difficult to do that, but hoping to save some time in appropriate places. Dugong, Binnacle, Duosion, Snivy, and another Delphox Hollow. Got this in the first box. Good stuff. Not a lot of hollows in this set either, maybe seven or eight. So I'm hoping to get the uh, the Mew hollow out of this box, that would be great. But we didn't miss a lot in the first one. Moltres, Mincino, uh, Helix Fossil, Grumpig, and Alakazam Spirit Link. So I'll be doing this booster box obviously right here, right now, as it goes. And I'm going to do the Zygarde Perfect Battle Deck later this evening. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And there's another Lucario Hollow, nice. I like how other Pokemon are making cameos in these artworks, but it's at no point like unclear who the who the like the Pokemon card is actually for. Because it has happened from time to time where it's, it's like who's supposed to be the focus of this, but not really in this set. Our Reuniclus, Fennekin. Mandibuzz, Pupitar, and Superior. Pretty, a pretty powerful pack there. P.S. If you didn't know, guys, Mandibuzz is going to be getting Mandibuzz Break. It's a promo card in Japan. Uh, so here we have Team Rocket's Handiwork, Seal, Dome Fossil, Spoink, and another Lugia Hollow. Zero issue pulling these holographic cards right now, guys. Always pleasant. A 
Next pack, gotta keep on moving forward. We've got a Twisted Spoon, Ammonite, Larvitar, Wormadam, and Exploud. And here we have Aerodactyl, Coughing, uh, Sinchino, Binnacle, and Awesome! This card looks fantastic in person. This is the Kingdra EX, of course. Kingdra EX finally getting the EX and full art treatment. Heavy Storm down at the bottom does 20 and discards the stadium in play. And I believe the next card, the next attack on this card, uh, is uh, Dragon Trail, which is a 60 plus an extra 30 for every lightning energy attached to Kingdra. And that is as well a new card, just like the Mega Alakazam EX was making it another great addition to the collection. I really think they made excellent EX choices for this set all the way around. Uh, if there was one EX that you could add to the set, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below. That's the question I want to ask today. If you could add an EX to the set, what would be your choice? You have Wigglytuff, Brakeson, Carbink, Wismer, and the evolution spray. You will be seeing a little bit more carbon in the Zygarde deck later today. But really, when do you not see more of carbon in my channel? We have Altaria Spirit Link, Barbarical, Old Amber, uh, Weezing, and wow, that is the Omastar Break. Omastar Break's dangerous tentacles allows you to catch her up in EX from your opponent's bench once per turn. So that could be pretty tentacly as opposed to handy. Awesome artwork on this card as well. Oh, he's so cool. Great, great looking card. So still missing the Bronzong break and the Lugia break. Hoping to get those in future boxes, of course. But with the pull rates for break cards, there might not be a whole lot of copies for them to go around, especially with there being four in the set. Here we have Amastar. Um, it's appropriate. Uh, Servine, Snorlax, Wormadam, and another Zygarde Hollow. Cool beans. Still got a shot at that secret rare. Personally, my favorite card I want the most is going to be that Full Art Umbreon, of course, but they did a great job from top to bottom in this set. It's hard to be disappointed with any of the pulls. So you get a Chaos Town, so I will naturally be coveting anything that I'm missing after this booster case is done. So we've got N, Burmy, Riolu, Ammonite, and another Tyranitar Hollow. That Mew is still elusive to me. Almost like an actual Mew. But cool to get another T-Tar. So probably have one more EX left in this box. Love for it to be of the full art persuasion, so we'll just see what happens. Rotom, Vullaby, Snivy, Kabuto, and Bronzong. Probably about four packs to go, if I had to guess. Uh, Fossil Excavation Kit. Jigglypuff. Uh, Duosion. Wormadam. There's that Mew! Awesome. Packing a really weak 50 hit points, but it's got an ability that lets you use like any attack. I don't know if it's on your side, or on the field, or something like that, but it lets you use like a bunch of other Pokemon's attacks. I do think you need the energy to use it, but they probably nerfed it down to 50 HP because of that. But hey, it's a Mew Hollow. When's the last time they had like a regular Mew Hollow in a set? Like Shining Darkness, Diamond of Pearl 3? Is that the last time they did that? Because no Dragon Blast had Mew, but it was a Mew EX. Just a regular old Mew Hollow? been a while for sure. Next pack we've got a Chaos Town, Helix Fossil, Spoink, 
Larvitar and Zygarde Tadapulsant. Down to the last two packs, guys. Really hoping for another EX. There should be one in here, usually. Usually you go to two EXs, one Mega EX, and a break. But sometimes I guess it changes a bit. We have Superior, Mandibuzz, uh, Minchino, Weezing. Oh, it's so pretty. The Glaceon EX. Glaceon and Umbreon, of course, being uh, two of my mascots, being in the banner on my channel. So this is a great pull for me. Still missing the Umbreon, but it'll come in due time. So uh, Glaceon's first attack does 20 damage plus an extra 10 damage for every damage counter already on the defending Pokemon. I think it's called Second Bite. And then Crystal Ray, down at the bottom you can see there, the energy requirements does 70. And also prevents damage done to Glaceon next turn by Evolved Pokemon. So you can get a pretty interesting lockup depending on what deck you're facing, but... I would imagine pretty much everybody's running EXs one way or the other. I guess it could cause some disruption, and it's so darn cute. I don't like it for its playability, I like it for its collectability and its artwork. That's how I roll. Last pack, Exploud, Brakeson, Bronzor, Grumpig, and Alakazam Spirit Link to link up with the first pull we got in this box. So, we're shifting those off to the side, guys. Gonna do a quick sorting of the cards and a quicker recap, if all goes well. Holographic pulls in box number two of Awakening of the Psychic King were Delphox, uh, Lucario, Lugia, Zygarde, Titar, and Mew. Got that awesome looking Omastar break. As well as a Kingdra EX, Glaceon EX, and Mega Alakazam EX. All of those being new cards from my collection. As always guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you're back here later today for the Zygarde Perfect Battle Theme Deck, or whatever the heck it's going to be called. And I will continue to crank through boxes of X and Y10, the Japanese Fates Collide, or as we call it, Awakening of the Psychic King, until all 20 boxes have been depleted of their awesomeness. Take care.